All right, Capstone students, it is finally time to finalize and publish and share your Capstone website. So here's the last few things that you'll want to do with it, right? This is after I have designed all of my pages and sections. I have entered all of the information and content that I've been requested and everything is ready to share and rock and roll. So you'll want to check it out in preview mode. This just gives you a chance to see what people will see from either a computer or a tablet or a phone, and you never know how people are gonna access your site. So you will wanna make sure that everything still works and behaves the way and looks the way that you want it to. Once you have confirmed that that all looks good, then you just wanna double check that your Google Embedded Media, which I showed you in a previous video, it has the permissions set correctly, right? So you would open those and just make sure under share that it says under general access Westminster Public Schools. Do not set to anyone with the link. The district will just turn it off. Okay, if you need more detail on how to do that, please watch my previous video. And now you're going to come back to your website and click publish. You can change the name if you want to um, or just leave it the way that it sets it. And then you do want to change who can view your site. So I'm going to click manage. And the draft can stay to restricted, but for published site, you have two options now. Westminster Public Schools will make sure that it's visible during your presentations and when you share it with your teachers. And then public obviously makes sure that your website, at least, is accessible outside of the district and school. Your Google media will still be restricted, right? So up to you whether you make it WPS or public. And then I'm going to click Done. And now it takes me back to my publish my site screen, publish your site screen. Then I'm going to click publish and then I'm going to do a little dance because hooray, I got my website published. Now you need to share the link and all you have to do is click this little link button right here and it will give you this copy link. And then you're going to go to empower where you have been instructed, been instructed to turn it in. For some students, it might look a little bit different, but I would like you to please share the URL. So when you scroll down to the place that says, you know, put your link right here, you're gonna scroll down, change it to this www. Your title is just your website description. You can leave blank and then enter your URL. You've already copied it. So this is where you're going to do control V to paste, or if you're on the right kind of computer, you can right click and choose paste. And then I'm going to save and turn in, and that will make the link accessible to my teachers. And when I'm presenting it, that we will be able to see it on the screen. Can't wait to see all of your hard work come to fruition. Fist bump, you did it. One more step toward graduation.